Hey honey bunches, how are you? Um, it's a Friday morning. I've had a really big week. I'm honestly very pooped. This week's video was meant to be a room tour video. However, short story, promise, um, this humongous, beautiful op shop has opened up near us and I discovered it this week. Thought I was walking through like a dreamscape because everywhere I looked, I was like, oh my God. Um, just so much stuff that was my style. And there's a new situation right here um which i'm very happy about but um, it caused me to have a little bit of a rearrange and now there's a gaping hole on my wall and it really is pretty obvious so i'm gonna just wait not force it until uh that's filled i'm going to be incorporating that almond salted praline into a swiss meringue icing for a what is it lemon elderflower and cardamom three-tier cake um, I have made for the purpose of trying out some OTT beautiful ruffled um, vintage piping techniques because I've been meaning to that for a while and I've assembled my nozzles and I'm ready to go in a in a palette of like teal purple and pink and cream. I'm treating this more as a piping exercise. I'm not sure if the cake will be a success. It, it looks pretty good. It's a Erin McKenna recipe I haven't tried yet and her cake recipes have been very iffy so it's more just providing the structure for the piping opportunity and I've been putting off attempting that because I am a little intimidated but I am hyping myself up or piping myself up. No. And I'm gonna do that this morning which hopefully I'll feel really proud of. Um, yeah, today's a bit of a micro bakery work day, testing a new skill, getting back to some people. I contacted some other micro bakeries in Melbourne and they all kind of got back to me within a day. So that's a sign of the, the openness and encouraging nature of the community, um, which is obviously a bit new to me and a bit scary to ask people the questions, but you've got to ask people the questions, otherwise <laughs> you're being silly since it's like a business. So yeah, talking with them, I'm catching up with a friend, the Sabo, and then I've got nannying tonight, so. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm very tired. Um, that's my day. Speaking of books though, I'm really enjoying Gentle and Fierce, which is a collection of animal related, but more animals in domestic -y sense, um, essays by a Melbourne author and they're all really personal and about lots of different things in life and growing up and girlhood with anim the presence of animals like woven through. It's really beautiful and obviously like a animal justice environmental angle as well. It's very unexpected but also very readable. I'm really enjoying it and the audiobook I'm listening to is another Beth O'Leary. I've read The Flat Share. I love that. From what I gather all her books are have like two main characters and swips, swips, sw swaps narration between the two but they're in the same world and their stories are connected you just sort of get different points of view i really like her books and maybe that's really mainstreamy and it's not called like the mainstream thing but they're like a warm hug and they cover topics like you know abusive manipulative shit men um and like tricky topics but the tone is still, you still feel very safe and warm and they're just very cosy books. I um, would really recommend. Speaking of popular books, I read, um, oh, I've already suppressed it from my mind. Let me, I think it's called The Last Carriage. I'll put it on the screen, but it's hugely popular. All the reviews were like, love it. I absolutely hated it. I did not realize it had this supernatural element. Well, it's the crux of the story, like a character that's not meant to exist. They're from the 70s in 2020. And I just, I don't believe it. They don't feel genuine. And that's probably really cynical of me, but I just, the characters weren't likable. And the ending was like not the healthy option for all characters involved. Anyway, did not like it and would not recommend at all. I rarely hate, hate a book. Yeah, it's nice to have a real visceral response, I suppose. Speaking of op shop finds, can I just show you some pants I got this week, which I did not think would be my style, but I am in love with them. They're so funky, they have a little flare at the bottom and they're like this stretchy cotton canvasy thing with a very elastic waist, which is very needed because they're quite um, snug. Well, they're so cool, I love them. I've had so much luck at finding really good pieces. I feel really me, but also like stretching out my style in new different directions. I think because I feel like a peeled open banana after therapy, like you feel a bit stripped back. Any pretense or like 
ego maybe is not there so your choices are a bit more pure and you know what you'd like a bit more on like a I don't know like a gut core level or something and it's just a lot easier to know whether you like or hate something chuff with these never thought I'd be a vertical stripe person yeah I'm gonna uh, send some emails and boring stuff and then and then get on to piping my big beautiful vintage kitsch cake different colors and starting off ultra paranoid with the purple that it was you know you're gonna add too much it's gonna go a bit block fluoro like um but then discovering purple takes forever to get dark um went way too hard with the green not keen on that um anyway point being i think i maybe should have just start off with one color and do and do like all the different piping techniques with one color because that's a look in itself but also any and even though this is just a practice, a learning exercise, um, yeah, you, they don't stand out as much. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna create like something to practice piping on and then have a go at executing it. overwhelmed with choice of how to do it with a bloody blank canvas this is bringing out my um, peak stress levels brought out by fine motor skill tasks <laughs> I just finished writing my Friday newsletter and I need to get some dinner together and maybe change um, before I go to Nanning. I'm feeling a bit like a blob and literally covered in different coloured icing. 
that Erin McKenna actual cake, not good. She dries out really easily, which is disappointing because her chocolate cake stayed moist for like a week. But I get the sense with Erin McKenna's recipes that stuff that's quite plain and vanilla doesn't quite do it for me. The texture isn't quite right and it just tastes a bit of the ingredients and not of like vanilla but it is good to rule things out and get greater clarity on your preferred flowers and I think this shows that I will pivot to more millet based flowers um for more vanilla cakes that's good to know but yeah that piping effort whoa um I really can't wait to show the girl I nanny I text a little video to lots of friends um because no one was home and it was a big moment like like it's pretty ugly Technically, it's not good, but like it just sort of there's so much. It's so extra that your eye doesn't really go to all that. And you're like, oh, I can recognize it as an OTT vintage sort of cake. Like you understand the look. Yeah. And as a first attempt, I'm so glad I did it. It was so revealing a in like how much effort goes into cake. So like appreciate all those cake makers and decorators out there a million times more but also your workflow when you're icing a cake like that you really do need to make a plan <laughs> and be smart about your nozzles and your icings and keeping the colors separate and just you have to be very organized and like go for it and I think my hesitancy very much shows up in the cake but that's okay like it was a learning exercise and she was beautiful I feel so much fresher if I don't talk to you again though thank you so much for watching and seeing me try new things and I think a couple of you had noticed see my progress in the dessert department and stumble blindly towards this elusive goal. I'm sure I'm sharing kind of every second day um, on Insta and have been posting a bit more in between as well on TikTok. If you would like to see some extra bits and bobs, hope you're doing well and having a lovely weekend. <laughs>